see here on Windows Phone 7, you've got your live tiles and you know, whatever. Uh, there currently are a few ways to edit your live tiles, but most of them include unlocking the device with you know a program like Chevron WP or something like that. Uh, but there was a uh, application that was just put out, I believe yesterday, called uh, Wiz Tiles. You can see right here. And this application allows you to do some things to your home screen. It's kind of uh, early in the development of it, and I'm not totally sold on it, but you know, it, it gives you some themes where you can actually change what your live tiles look like or what your tiles look like. I don't believe that the tiles are actually live tiles once they're on there. Uh, that's not been confirmed, but they're basically static tiles that do shortcuts to different app uh, different applications and so forth. Uh, there's not a people tile. I'm sure the developer of this app is working on some uh, some additional things. So what's kind of cool about it though, uh, this is one of the preset the preset um, tiles that they've set up. You can save some tiles. Uh, I'll explain this uh, Alabama stuff you see there in a moment. Uh, this one's called Metro. If we hit back here. When you download the application, there's these two themes here. You've got the Metro one and this one is called Museum. And what's, what's kind of cool about it, here's the phone icon. If you hold down on it, you can either pin it to the start, which does this. Come on. And it just pins it down there. You hit it, and this is one thing I don't like about it. When you do that, it's got that little thing there. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. Uh, go back into it. But you see, it, it added that, and I can move that around, put it wherever I want. And like, here's an email one that I created or they, that's part of the metro that they create, excuse me. Um, so we'll go back down here to Wiz Tiles. And I'll give you a quick little show. You can download, as you can see here, it says download. Let's go to that, Let's save tiles, menu, download themes, contact us, and about. And real quick, I'll show you how to download themes. Click on here, and then you put in your thing here, and I will show you that right now. Okay, here's the Wiz Tiles themes. These are the two themes that were default installed when I downloaded this from the marketplace. If you uh, hold down on these themes, you'll see I can actually delete that theme. Okay, this theme will not let me, I guess the default themes won't let you delete them. They're grayed out. Uh, but if you had your own theme on there, you could. And that's how, um, that's what I want to show you here. Download theme. I've created a theme and we'll pop in my location where I have it hosted at right now. This will take just a second. Doing this over the camera, sorry. Okay, and I, I've got the web location there. I'll hit download theme. It takes just a moment. And uh, you can go back to themes and you have these two. But now I have this one, which is a theme I created from a few Alabama pictures. And uh, we'll assemble that and put it on the front screen. I changed the status tile backside color to all represent Alabama colors so there you have it uh, we'll look at the rest of it after I get okay and then we got contact us and about uh, this application enables blah 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 to customize our home screens create shortcuts for applications and contact us gives you uh, I use Google Mail so it doesn't jump into uh, Microsoft's exchange mail or main mail program so anyway let's go back in here and I'll show you a little about what a little bit about what each of the tiles could do for you. Use this theme here, and uh, so I showed you how to pin it to the start. I could edit this before I pin it to the start, and you can edit the icon, 
which these are available icons for that application or you can show all available which takes just a moment and it shows you all those so we'll back out of there uh, you can change the icon you can put an icon on the back side of the tile and you'll see what I mean when they flip uh, you can take a picture and you can also set the text uh, you can change the the front title and put you know GGG and on the back we'll put woolly we'll phone there and then we'll go here and we'll type hello and then we we can either save it or pin it to the start I'm gonna pin this one to the start and we'll go back to this one in a minute and show you the rest of the customizations that you could do and now you see GGG written at the bottom down there you can leave anything off there if you want to uh, if you watch it when it turns over the hello that I said is there and the phone down here so we'll go back in there I really hope that this developer continues to develop on this though because it has a lot of promise it's really neat um, okay so we'll do the phone one one more time I'm gonna hold it down oops and learn how to hold down and we're going to edit it again and we'll show you the last section for the phone one you got the details here you could choose a tile task and here are the tasks that he's already got built in um, I'm hoping that they add more like the Gmail and uh, a people hub link or whatever but you know you could select email web browser message camera share status connection map search and marketplace and when you click on phone and go back here you can actually choose from a contact list to actually call to set it up to actually call that person uh, you, or you can put a phone number and a contact name uh, on the email one you can set it up the same way you got the different and you can also change the colors so when it flips it'll be green right there if you see what I'm talking about uh, you can also create your own themes, which is what I was going to show you after all this. So we'll go back to details for email. You can, you know, obviously you can still choose any of the applications. This was pre-set up for email. You could choose a contact email, contact email address, and you can put a subject and a message. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment or a little bit later in the video. Okay, so that, that's that one. Uh, web, I'm going to edit it and same thing change all the colors and everything oops or we can flip over here and you can actually set that to go to a certain website so what I'll do here is I'll go back over here and I'll show you all the tasks this one was web browser and you see I could you know put whatever message or whatever URL I wanted in there we'll change this icon to and you can instead of going through all the icons I'm just going to show you what each of these will do uh, you can actually set up to automatically text message however it doesn't bring you right into your text messaging so I wish you'd have an option to where you click on this tile and it, instead of trying to text somebody it'll actually take you to your list of text conversations if you will so we'll choose another task we'll go to camera and this one's self-explanatory it starts the camera up and we'll go down here to share status and this one allows you to it opens up where you can actually share you know what if you have your Windows Phone device set up to when you go to share to go to Facebook Twitter and whatnot you you can just click on that or you can actually type a status there and have it where it automatically sends that out so the next one we'll show you is connection and this one has multiple modes um, you can choose which connection task you want to go to and I'll show you that on my theme here in a few minutes you got Bluetooth cellular Wi-Fi and airplane mode uh, for oops I go too fast uh, map you could set up a Bing map you know where whatever you want to search for location search or you can do directions and you could type in your search term here so if I want to look for golf I could do that and I'll show you that we'll actually pin this one and then we'll go back and I'll show you how that works it's going to automatically open up Bing and do a search for golf 
not sure what the usefulness of having a, a set keyword would be but anyway so let's go back I'm giving you too many hints on what the, the final thing I want to show you in all this is and that's a theme that I created in the likeness of the University of Alabama so let's see here uh, we'll just go to any of these and edit it alright come on show you a couple more of the functions that you could choose from here alright that's message we just did a map you can do a search and this way you can type in with it. they've got default in here whiz whiz tiles themes and it'll do an automatic uh, Bing search for that uh, let's see here we will go to marketplace and here you can do a search or view category and here's your search terms and it also gives you an option for categories so anyway uh, we'll go on back here uh, what I have done is I've actually created a theme by taking the files for a theme file and creating a zip out of it in the structure and format with tiles that I created which looks like this you got phone, email, web browsing, messaging and you can set those up on your screen. I've already done that before I started this video and you can see all the save tiles I have here so we'll go back to the front or to the start screen and you can see that if you watch real quick Chris's share status that didn't save right you can see it flipping around I changed type what you want here and these are default text for a market tile, text for a search, uh, fly like a G6, Chris's fly like a G6. I did that on the backside tile instead of the front side. Just messing around to show what it can do. But you see these tiles flip. Uh, I believe they're, if I really wanted to, I could set this up to where when it flips, it has the same picture instead of the dark, uh, the, the uh, solid background. And I might do that just to if I ever use this but see the problem I have with this is they don't appear to be live tiles you know if I had a missed phone call it's not going to come up there and show a missed phone call I don't believe I may be wrong and if the developer sees this video and wants to comment and tell me if I'm wrong but anyway they're still working it's a completely free app they're still working on development obviously and um, it's got promise because this is really neat it took me about you know 30 minutes in Photoshop to create this theme and uh, I'll let anybody download it if they want it. Uh, I might customize it a little bit more to um, not have this. I don't, I don't. I don't like the way that it goes to the background here. So we can actually test that right now. Let's take this phone icon up here, and I'll go in here back into the application. Apologize about this video being so long, but I just wanted to show you everything about this program. It's pretty cool. So we'll go to save tiles and uh, we'll look at the phone one. You can edit all these that you've already got pinned. And if you noticed, I'll go back to that. If you notice, the ones that are actually pinned have the pin icon on there. So we will go here and edit. If I can learn how to hold down good. There we go. All right, we'll do this picture okay no it's not gonna let me do that I bet you that I could go into the theme file that I created for this and actually set this dark back or this background to actually have the same icon as here so that when it flips and that's what I'm gonna do that tonight and come up with a final version of this in fact I'm gonna pause this recording right now and go do that okay now if you watch the um, start screen here you see how when they flip on down I left down here where they actually flip to a solid color but up here when they flip they're going to flip back to the same tile that you're seeing on the front the front and back of the tile alright we're waiting for a flip flip for me I don't know what the duration on the flipping and whatnot is. There we go. See how they flipped and stayed with the same. 
So anyway, if you look down here at this tile here, when they flip back over, this is the top right of this image here, and it's flipping to it. You can also go in, and I'll show you this. You can edit this without having to edit the source file of the theme like I just did to uh, create that. I had to create a separate instance of it. Uh, if you go here to my save tiles and we'll find that one. I believe this is it here. We'll wait for it to flip over to make sure. Yep. And you go here, hit edit, like I showed you earlier. Alright, you see well, that's the front and that's the back. We can actually change that right here by clicking on I icon instead of picture. And I can click on that and hit save. And now I do not know why it went to albums. That was weird. Now, when these flip here, these other four, this one should stay the picture of the picture. Oh, did it not work? I didn't hit save properly or something. I don't know. Maybe that's why it went to where it went. Like I said, this application is free, and a uh, uh, post on XDA Developer says that they plan to have a paid version with no ads eventually once they're happy with the product. So we're going to edit this one again because it didn't save, obviously. Okay, we're going to hit icon here. And we're going to select that again. Oh, I hit camera to take a picture. Okay. All right, now, there we go. Now we'll hit save. And we'll go to the, back to the start screen here. And we'll watch it to see if this worked out. It's a really neat program. I, I can't wait to see see it flip back to the... So I didn't have to actually edit the file. However, the version of this theme that I did set up that I have available, you know, loaded on here right now, I set it to where the background, the text for map tile, I took all those out so you can, you don't have to take those out like this one's taken, taken out. Um you can add your own in the edit screen there so but anyway um, I was going to show you on the email you know how if you click on email it would go straight to what you typed but I didn't I didn't set that up after I updated the theme so I'll let you figure all that out but anyway it's a really neat application uh, like I said it's free right now with styles uh, it's in the marketplace you don't have to you know unlock or you know break the code of the phone if you will root unlock jailbreak whatever you want to call it you do not have to it's in the marketplace and it works um, the problems the only problems mainly that I have with the app so far is this right here this little intermediary thing before it goes to my contacts there I'd like to be able to see a uh, live tile integration if it's not already there and I don't believe it is uh, I would like to see more options when you go in here, more options for applications like the People Hub, you know, where if I click on an icon that has, is the People Hub that it actually goes to the People Hub like this one. You know, if I click on People there, it takes me right there. I want to I want to be able to do that instead of what it what it actually well there isn't a People Hub icon in the app. I want to see more more applications being able to be hot keyed to these tiles. Um, one thing I didn't show you is you can actually uh, set one of these tiles up to not do anything. However, when I tested one of them, it went back to the application. So let's try that. Let's go to uh, let's go to the phone one. Edit it and go here to phone. Click on that instead of being phone. Let's hit none. Okay. Oops. Okay, it's still selected. And let's hit save. And I believe, not 100% sure, but when I did this earlier, it's going to take me into that application. Yep. Well, that's. No, I uh, did not save properly. Or I edited one. No, I edited one that was not actually on my 
the one that I have pinned to the front. I didn't look to see the pin. Let's do try that one more time. Sorry for the length of this video once again, but you know I just wanted to show you how this all works out. So, uh, yeah, that phone wasn't that I edited wasn't pinned. This phone is pinned, so let's do that again. We'll go to the details and we will go to none and then we're going to take it even a step further and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to take this out and we're going to hit save that way there will be no text on the icon it's just going to be the picture and go back to start and you see that it does not say phone there anymore and when it flips it won't say anything over there either there we go. Yep, well, <laughs> I'm getting fooled by the little, yeah, it went straight into whiz tiles again. So I'd like to see that where if you hit none, it just doesn't do anything. And that way you could have just, you know, you could leave this up here as like a little picture and then start, you know, like bring this and this. I am uh, flipping stuff around. There we go. So, you know, you could have just like four static icons there just for some personalization and then start your icon row down here. Take all this out. That'd be kind of cool, but you know, where this, if you click on it, does nothing but just sit there. So, anyway, this is um, a little first look. Had a brand new application called WizTiles, and you see her right there.